Our workspaces are our second homes where we spend time with our work family. At Fulcrum, we design your spaces like your special abode, creating new experiences through designing spaces for small business owners. Welcome to Fulcrum Home Decor. My name is Pallavi and I'm here to help you transform your spaces into a home. Recently, a friend of mine who is an architect approached me to help him uh, design and decorate a sample flat or a show flat for a builder. This was a very nostalgic opportunity for me because I started my career in Pune um, with designing sample flats for a builder group. These are two BHKs and one BHK specifically for the industrial um, locations of Pune. These spaces needed to feel luxurious. These are people who work very hard um, because they're working with the industries, so they have a very taxing job, so to speak. Uh, we wanted the spaces to feel luxurious. We wanted them to feel that they can own a space which is beautiful, which is luxurious, which makes them feel um, like coming back home. The specific brief that I got from the builder was that these are very compact flats. Uh, it, they do not need to feel very cramped, rather they need to feel larger than what they are. And uh, I have tried to achieve that in my uh, design or decoration process and I would love to hear your comments about what you think about them. So I'm going to be sharing with you uh, the process of designing each room of the flat and the, the living room is common uh, is absolutely the same of two flats so I'll just be showing you one of that. So let's get started. Let's start with the living room of the space. Uh, both the flats are very similar. The only difference being one has two bedrooms and one has one bedroom. The living room sizes are absolutely the same and um, they have an open kitchen simply because again the the flat being compact they didn't want extra walls however we needed to accommodate a dining table or a dining um, setup in this space itself so we chose to go ahead with loose seating uh, rather than having l shape because this loose seating facilitates movement of furniture here and there we've housed the television on one side we've housed a small four seater dining table and the kitchen has the entire trolleys and cabinets the color palette i have kept it very neutral just with a pop of color and we've kept it very modern minimal kind of look um, it's it's a contemporary style of design but in a very modernized and way and again very minimal because we didn't want to clutter the space so this is uh, both the living rooms as i said have been designed absolutely identically so that um, it doesn't feel like a 1 bhk is any lesser than a 2 bhk so this is the master bedroom of the 2 BHK that we are doing for the builder. Now what we've gone ahead with is to keep the theme, um, since these are budget homes, we wanted to create that spacious feel and this room is about 14 by 12. So what we've uh, you know, tried to do over here is to give them a little bit of European kind of feel, maintaining the colours that are very particular to you know Indians like we love these pastel colours but we don't want to go extremely, um, you know, two out there. So what we've done here is firstly added this wallpaper which is very beautiful and gives this natural um, jute or cane woven texture. This also acts as the headboard to the bed here and we've added these uh, beautiful panels which you must have seen in my store tours as well. This kind of reinforces the Scandinavian European vibe. And we went ahead with a very soothing sage green colour. You will see that getting reflected in the curtains, in the bedding. And uh, again, we've kept the decor minimal since it's a sample flat. We did not want to overdo it. So this is how the master bedroom looks. This is the guest room of the 2BHK. Um, 
as I mentioned in the master bedroom, so we wanted to keep the theme a little European, a little fresh and very inviting. Uh, since this room is smaller than the master bedroom, we've again gone ahead and done sliding wardrobe so that you can understand the space allocation. And uh, again, we didn't want the room to feel very, uh, you know, small or dingy. So we we'll use very nice, bright and open, airy colors. We have put a wallpaper which has these beautiful uh, rose patterns. So again, it's not too patterned, so it doesn't look very busy. Uh, it's just, you know, just enough touches of for color wherever necessary. The highlight I would say would be the tufted headboard. We wanted to go for a higher headboard to make the room feel a little bigger. So the misconception that we many times have is if the room is smaller, go with small things. No, that's not the way to actually design. If your room is smaller, choose two or three big accent pieces and that will actually make your room look bigger. So that's what I have done with the headboard. What I've also done is on this side, added a mirror and a console table. So on this side as well, now instead of adding miniature smaller mirrors or smaller art pieces, I've chosen to go with a bigger mirror and a nice big console here. This again uh, makes your room look larger than what it is. This is the master bedroom of the one BHK apartment that we are designing for the builder as a sample flat. So keeping the brief common for both the flats, we have kept the decor minimal and we have housed everything that is necessary in a bedroom. So the wardrobes, we've kept that sliding. We did not want people to come here and feel that it's a one BHK and they can't have a luxurious feel to their places. So what we've done here is we've added these beautiful MDF wall panelings and a lovely wallpaper. We've added a tufted headboard to the bed and it kind of uh, gives a very nice and cozy and a very luxurious feel to the room. I hope this was a interesting and a different video for you to see. I think all design and home decor enthusiasts love to see videos like which are anything related to home. So I wanted to publish this on my channel just um, so that you can get any kind of tips and ideas that you can implement in your homes. Uh, things have been, some of these things were not in my control in terms of the furniture specifically because that was already provided for like the bed frame and the wardrobes and definitely the builder did not want to invest a lot of money in that. However, the, de the decor part of it, the, you know, the adding the accessories or adding the jewels to the bone structure was what I have focused on. So definitely let me know if you liked anything or you learned anything and if you would like to watch more of our interior designing videos, our makeovers and real life homes, uh, definitely consider subscribing to the channel because that helps us grow and it helps our videos reach a lot more people. We are available on all social platforms um, where we, are, we constantly post uh, a lot of content related to interiors, interior products and home decor. So do consider following us on them if this is of interest to you. All the details of our charges, our um, processes and the kind of packages we have for interior designing are mentioned on our website and it has been updated very recently. So if you would like to know anything, the details will be in the description box. The next video that I'm going to share is about uh, some of the very beautiful sustainable products that Fulcrum is coming up with for the new new year specifically. Now the new I say new year because according to the Indian calendar, it's the new year. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in that video with a lot of exciting news to share. See you again. Happy living.